Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Duck Soup Dungeon here, and this is a game that was included in the Itch.io bundle for racial justice and equality. Yet another, we've checked out a ton of those at this point. Uh, you got a couple characters to pick from to start with. I'm just going to start with the very first, Slash Chicken. Um, and I'm actually going to save, hopefully I can unlock a couple characters, because I'm going to save Slash Pig for last, or Roller Pig, I'm sorry. Slash Chicken is who I am right now, but... Roller Pig is like a little overpowered, but basically this is a dungeon crawler um, And you can again obviously you can see I can collect gold over time I don't know if that door just like fell into this door. What the hell was that some kind of secret? Maybe um, But you can jump and you can slash in this case so with the pig you can roll um, But you can see all my stats up at the top there um, and I kind of love the, like, fog of war lighting, but you can jump infinitely, which is kind of interesting. You can also level up. Um, you can see my level up meter at the bottom of the screen. Um, I keep thinking it's going to go up when I collect coins. Ooh, I can slash through that wall. But yeah, you can almost, like, just flutter forever. Uh, and it's not just with the, uh... Oh, you can slash downwards. Nice. Oh, but I am dead. <laughs> I love that slow-mo death. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, Roller Pig's a little overpowered, so I'm going to stick with Slash Chicken for now. Um, obviously, I get to keep uh, the gold that I collect, which is cool. It's, that's like kind of your cumulative roguelike deal. And yeah, you can just kind of infinitely jump and flap, um, so you can kind of climb up shafts. And again, you can do that with the pig. I'm assuming you can do it with all the characters, because um, just the way some of the levels are laid out, that seems to be... Uh, something that'll be necessary to traverse around at times. Gonna try to slash downwards so I can hit this skeleton. Playing like a jerk so far. Oh, there looks like there's some kind of special treasure down there. Sit that down. Kill another enemy. Get some H, or not HP, some uh, XP. For a second, I was about to pick. I can't make that jump. Oh, it was just a flame in front of a pot. <laughs> I thought it looked like some kind of special treasure. Oh, brother. Yeah, I really dig the aesthetic, though, like this Game Boy style, obviously. I mean, we've checked out a ton of games that have this aesthetic, but um, I really like the added, like, lighting effects here. Just really, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it runs really smooth and just, yeah, just so cool. I love that, like, little bit of slowdown or huge amount of slowdown when you die. Um, fuck. Uh, part of me wants to go for Roller Pig, but again, let me let me unlock at least another character Try that. Keep chipping away, because, yeah, you can... Basically, you can, like, infinitely roll, and that will allow you to, like... You're, you're almost invulnerable when you're rolling. Not entirely, but you can just kind of cheese it to where, like... Yeah, I reset my progress, because I just, like, had a run that I was, like, just plowing through. Um, and I was just like, okay, okay. Um, I don't want to see too much of this game. I didn't get very far or anything, but I was just like, yeah, I'm not taking any damage. I don't know what's going to stop me, so... Sit down, baby! That feels so good, that slash. And all the enemies, or all the characters, have, uh, different attacks. Like, again, the roller pig doesn't have this slash. It's more of like a, you just turn into a morph ball, essentially. Um, Samus style, although you can't drop bombs or anything. But it's nice you can kind of, like, kite these enemies. You almost have to. Through the walls, like, they'll kind of seek you out no matter what. And I could go through there, or I could see. Do we have ourselves a little secret? No! And not just a few coins short of unlocking a swarm bug. Or we have a bone rat? Boner rat? <laughs> That's what I thought it said at first, but yeah, just probably bone rat. Makes more sense, but I should be able to get out of here. There we go, 100. So I should be able to spend that and get the swarm bug next. So we'll at least be able to showcase a few uh, different characters here in the video. I usually like to keep these short and sweet. Um, and obviously we'll always have links in the video description to where you can check the game out for yourself if you do like what you see. Um, I love that I can attack through walls. Oh, that was for me getting the kill that time. I was like, wait, did I just die there? Nice, so I get a little slow-mo for me for once. That's right. Yes, oh, I'm loving it. Oh, that's so satisfying. Especially because it's like, it's not happening too often. Although I got two pretty quick there, but... Yes, level up. 
which looks like I just have one more total HP. Doesn't look like there's any other huge difference. Little awkward music cut there. Like all the music a lot though, just so it was just seemed like a random uh, cut to a new song. Got some new enemies, some blobs. Seemingly some bigger, like, floors or whatever, too. Oh, yeah! It's like a fucking explosion when you kill those enemies. I might end up getting enough for the bone rat. Nope! Shit! Okay, I still got three health. Alright, just some coins. No way to run or anything, just you got your regular pace here. And the screen, you know, you might have noticed a frame stutter here and there, but other than that, I mean, this thing runs absolutely perfectly. Um, and that's partially just because of me streaming and recording and playing at the same time. I am just using my my little, my little old laptop. It's not that old, actually, but it's definitely not meant to put it through the paces that I put it through at times. Again, not that this is the most demanding uh, game on the PC, I'm sure, but... Damn it, where's that fucking exit? Did I just walk right past it? Yep. Okay, floor five. This is actually, I think, the furthest I've ever gotten. Again, not that I've put in too much time into this game, but... Could just move on, but... Oh, I'm only down to one health. Maybe I should just move on, but... You know I can't. Especially when... Oh, level up? Oh, and at full health. Thank God I didn't go back. Oh, wait. Pretty small uh, floor here. Unless I'm missing something. Hell yeah. Sit down. Yes. Thank God I noticed that my health went up because I would have for sure thought that I died there. There we go. And again, per usual, sorry if you can just hear me mashing the shit out of the buttons on my controller. But this game is certainly calling for some button mashing. Yeah, there is, I can see that, like, beat, but I mean, this is such a bite-sized game. Again, I don't know how long it is, but um, I guess I could see that slow-mo getting old after a while, but so far, I'm still loving it. There's that music cue again. Floor 8, this is for sure, or Floor 7, this is for sure the farthest I've been. It switched, like, as soon as I entered the door, I guess. Okay, we got a little maze here. So far, I think I'm going nowhere. Is that just a loop? No, I'm just dead end. Yeah, I'm mashing no matter what, like, whether I'm jumping and, like, flying, or whether I'm smashing on enemies. Okay, I don't think I went this way. Yes, I did. This is the way I went at first. What the hell am I supposed to do? Was there another way for me to go here? Maybe down... Uh... I can't be stuck. Did I just fall too fast there and not see it? No? Huh. Oh, wait. I thought this is where I came from. Isn't it? I guess not. It looked like that door was closed. Oh, we got another new enemy. Some kind of Frankenstein or some kind of wizard. Can't tell if it has, like, a staff in its hand or... Oh, shit, I'm taking damage. There we go. Sit down. I'm pretty close to a level up. And pretty close to 200 gold. Oh, yeah. There's that level up. There it is. Fuck. Sit down. You know I'm not leaving right away. Gotta comb these passages. These catacombs. Oh, no. Ooh. 
fucking utter destruction. I love it. And I didn't- Oh shit. I was just gonna say, I didn't take as much damage as I thought, and then I take a dumb hit like that. There we go. Down to only two health, but I'm also on to the next floor. I think I cleared that passage. Oh. Floor 10. Got a music shift. Like a deliberate music shift. This is not one of the songs that's been in the rotation here. Maybe there's 10 floors total. Oh, never mind. This song's been in. I think. Level up again, so I'm almost up to full health. I guess I'm down to five. Oh, fuck. For a second, I was thinking maybe level 10 was going to be the last level. Sit down. Oh, no. Not today. Yeah, I just love this, like, Matrix-style color palette. Like, more, more so than, uh, you know, all, a lot of these Game Boy-inspired games definitely use this palette, but it's something about the way with, like, the lighting effects. It just feels... Oh, I'm down to one health? It feels like a little more Matrix-y to me. And because it's so dark in the areas that aren't lit... And I love that it's just like a light that comes from your character. It's just so cool. Kite him! No! No! Ah, oh, shit. All right, well, we got a new character to unlock for sure. You know what? Let's get the Bone Rat just because I have 200. And let's play as er, Rat Bone. Rat Bone? I thought it was Bone Rat. What the heck? Little freeze frame for a sec there. It's like when I, th I have like a weapon to throw and then I can slash it back. Interesting, okay. It's like a bone, a boomerang. But again, you can just flutter jump forever. Yeah, a little more frame stuttering with this extra weapon effect. Hopefully that'll come back to me. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go fucking get it. No, come on. Gotta go all the way around. Dang, okay. That's interesting. I'm not a huge fan of that, although in some of the tighter spaces I think it'll come in handy, but the fact that it doesn't like just come back to you in some capacity. Gotta go get it tower fall style. It's definitely makes it a little tougher to play as this character. Oh. oh I thought it went through the wall over there. Alright, let's move along. There we go. Oh, it does kind of heat seek enemies. That's cool. Or at least it seems to go down these corridors in a certain pattern that allows it to keep kind of ricocheting. Ah, come on. There we go. Let's just keep going. I think there's a good chance I'm going to get 100 gold here, so... Yes, indeed. So we'll be able to unlock Swarm Bug, too. Oh, no. I wonder if I were to, like, go to the next floor without the bone, if I if it would, like, respawn or whatever. Repopulate. Just keep going, baby. Oh. Like, there. I feel like it sort of seeped toward this, that enemy, but I guess not. Because it didn't there. Down to one health. Can't weave that. There we go. No! Yeah, I suck with that. That's definitely going to take some practice to play as Ratbone. But let's unlock Swarm Bug here. And this will probably be my last run for this video here. What is this? Oh, it just kind of releases a swarm of enemies. So I got to be careful here. Got to use my ammunition wisely. 
I'm assuming I have some kind of limited amount of things. So yeah, those seem to be like some kind of secret doors. Oh, and I can't move when I'm dropping uh, these these swarm enemies. Kind of reminds me of a uh, sea salt. Um, shit, it's hard to like protect yourself in a in a like sense. Like if you want to keep moving. Fuck. Maybe I'll do one more run with a uh, slash chicken after this, and I'll leave Roller Pig a mystery. Because I do think it's like, ah, oh, a little too cheesable. Yeah, so I'm going to do one more run with Slash Chicken here, see how far I get. Um, and then we'll call it there for the video. Because again, by now you probably know if this is something you want to check out or not. Um, and I'm not going to try to not like go for every last coin. Try to just, I mean, the ones that are right in my path I'll go for. But when I see the door and have cleared as many of the enemies. You know, I'm, I'm just not gonna go to every nook and cranny of a floor. See if that, you know, less risks, maybe less rewards, but those are the breaks. Yeah, a little bit of slowdown here and there. Like here, that's a little too soon. Oh, I went through it on accident. <laughs> I was gonna say, here's a little too soon. I'm not gonna go through just yet. And then I fucking went through it anyways. Yeah, this game is really cool. That some really satisfying combat with this slash chicken in particular. Because yeah, the thing with the pig is you can you can be in that roller ball like that morph ball mode while you're doing your infinite flutter jump. So you kind of yeah, you're sort of invulnerable. Like you know, other than for like a split second, you know, every every so often. But it's I was able to cheese it pretty good. Um, although I'm not cheesing much here, playing like an asshole. Although there once was a time when floor five was the best I had done, so. Oh, shit. Thought I saw a projectile flying at me for some reason. Because, yeah, you do want to kill the enemies for the XP. Because those level ups are huge uh, HP buffs, too, or boosts. I go from one HP to five. One of four to, well, now four of five after I take damage like a fool. Just keep plugging along. Right through the wall. There must be a way to go up and over. Because I don't, oh shit. Didn't get that one. Yeah, okay. I didn't see this at first. Oh. Oh. Totally up and over. Yeah, nowhere to go. Now we're getting into more maze-like levels. Is that it? No, that's where I just started from. No, it's not. Maybe it is? I don't know. Sometimes it seems like it lets you. I, I don't fully understand those closed doors. Because there's sometimes they, like, fall from the sky and then... Um land like on top of another regular door like I don't fully understand what they're telegraphing or trying to tell me there or what they mean at least maybe they're not trying to tell me anything but level up baby floor 10 cruising oh almost went through that door on accident not that it would have oh I'm down to two health fuck Here I, I'm going through. Just gonna say here I am, still trying to go and kill every enemy. Okay, nothing up there. Doesn't seem like I'm really able to pick up health actually in any way. Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, well I think I'm gonna leave it there for Duck Soup Dungeon. Um, and yeah, this game is just really, really awesome. I'm I'm a big fan. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as always. And again, if you have the Itchio bundle for racial justice and equality, definitely fire this one up. And if even if not, go snag it because uh, it's awesome to support these indie devs. So yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching and take care.